Our next speaker will be Sologenic co-creator Reza Bashash. Reza is an engineer turned entrepreneur, founding several successful tech companies over the last 10 years. Given his in-depth blockchain knowledge, Reza will be discussing asset tokenization on the XRP ledger. Welcome, Reza. Thanks, friends. Hi, everyone. My name is Reza, and I am the co-creator of Sologenic. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about tokenization on the XRP ledger. But before I start, it's important to understand what tokenization or digitization actually means. Tokenization is basically the process of representing an asset in a digital form. It's been around since the beginning of the digital era and is being practiced already by all financial institutions and used by almost everyone, including yourselves. For example, the cup of coffee that you paid with your credit card this morning is actually being paid using tokenized money. Banks tokenize almost all their assets, and you most likely hold a digital representation of your asset. Another example is when you are buying a stock from, say, your local brokerage firm. They are not selling you the physical certificate of the ownership or a tangible piece of paper, but rather an IOU or a promise that you hold the asset with them. They might actually be doing the same thing with other liquidity providers and other local brokerage firms or subsequently exchanges. So most likely all assets um, are represented as IOUs in this chain. This process is nothing new, but we can revolutionize it by harnessing the power of the blockchain technology and representing these assets in a transparent, secure, and a more cost-effective way that is also accessible by the masses. Today, most investment opportunities are not accessible by a large percentage of the global population. Some of the benefits of the tokenization on the blockchain are um, removing geographical barriers, say, um, someone from Peru can now invest in an asset that's being offered in California uh, with all the security, speed, and ease of the blockchain. Now that assets are accessible by a much larger population, liquidity in these markets will be improved significantly. And of course, users can now buy and sell in fractions. This means, again, a larger contribution by the global population, rather than limiting trading for professional investors or institutions only. Once an asset is tokenized, you will no longer have to be paying fees for brokers or third parties. Trades can now be conducted on the blockchain without any other intermediaries. That saves you a lot of money and time. You can diversify your portfolio between uh, across different uh, asset classes. Um, so you no longer are bound to be investing in a set of assets offered by your bank or a brokerage firm. You can convert in a matter of seconds, such as converting your XRP um, assets to shares of, say, Tesla with just a one click. And of course, other key factors of tokenization on the blockchain are transparency, are immutability, and it is blazingly fast, especially on the XRP ledger. We have evaluated many different technologies as candidates for our tokenization platform. Every chain has pros and cons, obviously, but the ones that we seriously considered were Ethereum blockchain, uh, ERC20 standard and others, and the XRP ledger. We found that the XRP ledger almost offers exactly what we needed. Regulation obviously played an important role in our decision making. XRP Ledger allows us to comply with the regulations by using a feature called authorized trust lines or trust lines in general. And of course, um, it is fast, it is secure, it is environmental friendly, and it's the big, one of the biggest things, the uh, built-in decentralized exchange capability of the XRP Ledger offers a significant value for our users who can exchange tokenized assets on the ledger. 
Other things that were a key factor in our decision making were ability to interact with the tokens after they are issued. For example, paying dividends or handling stock splits and so on. On-demand tokenization is a great feature of Sologenic. It allows investors to tokenize any asset offered by the platform on demand. This allows us to offer a significantly larger portfolio of assets in our platform, where supply and demand actually decide what needs to be tokenized. Generally, these tokenized assets can be bought and sold in fractions on the blockchain, but we also wanted to break down the process further and more and have accessible, more accessibility for our users. So we created pool orders where users can contribute in pools of trades to be tokenized. This gives our users the power of tokenization or in tokenizing on the blockchain with a much lower capital. We have three main actors in this whole ecosystem. One is Sologen that acts as a brokerage and facilitates the technology for an asset to be tokenized. The second is the user who decides what needs to be tokenized and invests with uh, any amount of capital and tokenizes an asset. And finally, the third is the user who trades, buy and sells um, these assets on the blockchain in fractions 24-7. This allows any user to conduct things like market making and um, other activities on the blockchain. So for example, a user comes to Sologenic platform and decides to conduct uh, market making for Tesla. They can simply tokenize uh, 10 shares and um, take it to their personal wallets and start market making on the blockchain. And of course they can detokenize or burn or redeem these tokens um, at Sologenic by selling them back at market prices. So in a nutshell, Sologenic is a bridge between traditional financial markets and assets and the blockchain. Some of the challenges that we faced were, um, of course, meeting the regulator's demands were one of the most important things. What we've done here uh, on-demand tokenization has never been done before. Even if you see, for example, a stock or an asset uh, from a stock market is offered on the blockchain, um, different other blockchains, it is most likely that it was tokenized and it was offered for trading. But for Sologenic, a big challenge was to show regulators that we are meeting their regulatory requirements and demands and we're in compliance. Um, for on-demand tokenization. And of course, at the same time, educating a disruptive technology wasn't easy. Security of on-demand tokenizations is very tough and it needs to be um, done very precisely because this, these types of systems are prone and if an attacker or a hacker gains access to um, the issuer or the gateway wallet, they can potentially uh, issue any type of assets. So it poses a big risk if the system is compromised. And so that's why we, we designed a very um, sophisticated system that uses the uh, multi-signature capabilities of the XRP ledger, where each signer acts independently. These signers are placed in an unknown isolated location. Um, I mean, they are separated in different locations and they sign transactions um, once they check the validity of the transactions with one another. Um, so this gives us the peace of mind that if one system is compromised, the other ones will not sign the transaction. Um, so these were some of the challenges that we faced. I will be available to answer your questions and during our AMA session with our Chief Product Officer, Dimitri. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the rest of the event. And thank you so much.